Hi guys, welcome to the sequel of Reacting to Two True Animation Stories. This is the sequel. Because we're reacting to a different animation story. I think I have loved Jake since we were kids. We were next door neighbors and constant playmates. It was the most natural thing that we became best friends. Jake lived with his grandparents. He was always over my house. I think he enjoyed Chocolate being part milk. of a normal family. So I made him play with doll houses with me. He taught me how to play baseball. We rode our bikes and flew kites. We played princess and monsters. Jake was always my knight in shining armor. We played in sandboxes, playgrounds, and even did our homework together. Jake and I were inseparable. When we got to junior high, we were each other's dates. It was easier that way. We were always together anyway. I didn't have to worry if I was pretty enough to be asked by other guys. Jake didn't have to be nervous about asking another girl. We did a lot of crazy things together. Once, when we were 10 years old, Jake dared me to drink some of his dad's brandy. It tasted awful. I threw up right after and got a terrible headache the next day. Jake teased me a lot about puking, so I just pretended that I didn't remember anything that happened. That's how we were, always joking and teasing. Since we were always together, we just both assumed that we would always be there for each other, no matter what. We got teased a lot, especially by our families. They called us Mr. and Mrs. We just shrugged it off. Besides, I didn't think it was so bad if I ended up marrying Jake when we got older. It would be great to marry my best friend. When I would think about it, I always pictured myself at a wedding with me walking down the aisle with my hand on Jake's arm. It was like it was foretold. I already met my soulmate. When I thought you're supposed to make, I thought you're supposed to walk on your dad's, um, I thought you would have to walk with your dad. When I was just four years old. Do you want to meet and marry your soulmate too? Click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to leave a great comment below. But as we got older, things began to change. I guess it's only natural that Jake started hanging out with other boys. I had other girlfriends too, but my best friend was always going to be Jake. What are you doing? Why don't you check? Why is Fido not talking? I am talking. Only in I'm watching. I'm just concentrating and watching. Oh. Anyways, guys. Back to the video. This video may be a little long, but we're going to have to put a part two if it's that long. Nothing was ever going to change that. One day, Jake went over to my house and brought... I wish I had that kind of friendship. I do with Paige, except we mo I moved away from her. Oh, I miss her. Paige, if you're watching this from Doom Village, the Doom Village page, if you're watching this, please leave a thumbs up. Please. Uh, and Lila? please comment if comments are turned on. Lila? And please subscribe. Paige doesn't know what your YouTube channel Shut up. Yes, she does. Okay, guys, sorry about that. And my YouTube channel is called Julie Bernier. Brought a new friend along. Hey, Sarah. He said, this is Gilbert. When I looked at Gilbert, my heart totally stopped. He was the most handsome boy I had ever seen. When the sun hit the top of his head, his golden hair shone like a halo. I, yeah, well, you don't even know if you love him. I felt like Jake's better. I was looking. Marry him. Yeah, even though Brittany looks prettier than Jeanette. I mean, even though Jeanette looks prettier than Eleanor and Brittany does too. Because Eleanor's a tomboy. That doesn't mean I don't love her. Did I say that out loud? Hi, Sarah. Gilbert yes, said. Theodore. He shook my hand and I felt the electricity pass between us. Jake asked me if they could hang out with me that day. Of course, I said yes. 
Gilbert turned out to be a great guy. It even helped that he looked like a model, too. He was funny, and he was a good listener. He always smiled when Jake and I got into our arguments. I have to admit that I developed a little crush on Gilbert. How could I not? He was so handsome and kind. You're supposed to have a crush on Jake! Out, it became the three of us. We watched movies together. We had silly picnics in the park. The summer before we all left for college, our parents agreed that we could all take a trip with just the three of us. So we went to the beach house of Gilbert's family and stayed overnight. After dinner, Gilbert brought out some drinks. We giggled and laughed a lot, knowing that we weren't old enough to drink yet. But we did it anyway. I wasn't used to drinking, and I got drunk really fast. Whoa. The next thing I knew, I was on the couch cuddling with Gilbert. Mm. You're so handsome, I told him while I stroked his cheek. I could see that Gilbert was getting uncomfortable. Sarah, I think you've had enough to drink, he told me. He tried to push my hand away, but I refused, and instead, I did the most aggressive thing I have ever done in my life. I kissed Gilbert full on the lips. Yeah! His first kiss, but it was definitely mine. I only stopped kissing Gilbert when I heard the sound of something breaking. When I looked up, I saw Jake looking at us with a shocked look on his face. Somehow, that look brought me to my senses. I blushed, stood up, and apologized. Sorry, I think I've had enough to drink, I told the boys. I ran to the bathroom and locked myself in. I splashed some water on my face to clear my head. I felt so guilty about doing something like that, especially in front of Jake. When I remembered his face, I remember seeing anger, disbelief, and a little bit of disgust. I knew I loved Jake, but was I in love with him? Should I have kissed him instead? It was a huge mistake to kiss Gilbert, but he was just so handsome. Is this how it felt loving two different Looks people at the same time? Looks don't matter. I felt so confused, and I totally dreaded facing the two of them again the next morning. During mm. breakfast the next day, Gilbert tried to talk to me. Uh, Sarah, about last night, he started to say. But Jake butted in. She doesn't remember, he said. When we drank some of my dad's brandy when we were 10 years old, Sarah did a lot of silly things, but she forgot all about them the next day. Although I remember kissing Gilbert, I decided to play along. I lied and said I didn't remember doing anything the night before. It was just easier to pretend that nothing happened. That memorable evening was the last one we had in a long time. I was off to a different college than the two boys. I knew I would only see them during the holidays. I was going to miss being with Jake all the time. But it wasn't all Hey, I knew see Lila. and calling each other a lot. I was glad to hear that Jake was still oh, hanging out with Gilbert. I was bummed to hear that neither of them were coming back home for Christmas or spring break. Jake said that they had a lot of things planned okay, with the boys. I just reminded him to be good and not to kiss random girls. You're the random kisser, he teased me. It was a good thing that he couldn't see my face because I still remember that awkward night. So I didn't see the boys until the next summer. On my first day back, I heard a frantic knock on my bedroom door. I jumped out of bed quickly and opened the door. Jake was standing there, all tanned and smiling. I hugged him fiercely. Then I felt another pair of arms around us. It was Gilbert. It was a nice three-way hug from a group of old friends. That summer almost felt like we were never apart. We spent every day together, just trying to catch up on missed time. I felt a little jealous of some of the things Jake and Gilbert did without me. It sounded like they had a lot of fun in their college. What about you, Sarah? Gilbert asked. Break any hearts in that fancy college of yours? I laughed a little too loudly and shook my head. Now that Jake was here, I realized that he was the reason why I never fell for anyone in college. No one understood me like Jake did. I looked at him and knew that he felt exactly the same.